Hi everyone, this is day 20 of my 90 day video challenge. My name is Barbara, or Doll, and I'm glad to be sharing with you today some of my spinning. It's Spinning Saturday. I have been still working on my mitten that I shared with you yesterday, um, and that's day 19. So if you want to take a look at that, please feel free to go ahead. Um, but I thought while we chat today, I would do a little bit of spinning. So I have, just wind this back on here. This is a red from my holiday advent fiber calendar thingy. Um, and it's an Ashford shorty. So it's a short Ashford. And since I'm not wearing sleeves to tuck in my long piece here. Let's see if I can do this. I have this really pretty coppery type bracelet. So I'm going to try to put that on. There. Like that. And then I take this end, open these up a bit, and stick it underneath. Ah, it's a spinning bracelet, I guess. I don't know what it would call takes a place of a distaff sort of thing. But it also keeps the loose fibers out of the way. The problem I'm having with this fiber right now is that I actually did put it through the drum carter and opened it up again because it's been sitting packaged for a long time. Is that there are times it just does not want to pull away. This is 100% merino. It is not super washed. I know this because I used some of the similar um, to make a pot holder. And when I washed it, it shrunk. So I do know that it, it is not super washed. But it's very, very soft. And this is a, a vibrant red color. And I bought this... Mm, two years ago from a, a Canadian company called Wool Interrupted. And at that time, they had a fiber subscription box, and I'm not sure they have that anymore. And they had a, a grouping of Advent colors. So reds and greens, and I've really enjoyed working with them. Initially, I was plying them with a white to come up with a, a marled or a, um, what we used to call a rag yarn. Um, but I didn't really like the way it was knitting up. So this will be a two-ply that I will ply from my uh, bracelet that I put on my other hand when I wind it on. But it spins really easily, and I'm spinning it up higher than I normally would, just so you can see what it is I'm doing. I usually spin it off the side of my chair here while I sit and watch TV or listen to YouTube and see what a lot of YouTubes are, YouTubers are doing for Vlogmas and holiday things or planning for the new year. Um, one of the things that... I decided, Nick and I decided for December is that we would have a no spend month. So there'd be no spending on non-essentials other than, you know, groceries, which kind of is an essential, and only on the budgeted Christmas items that we had already planned for. And that's been going really, really well. I'm actually under budget with my groceries right now. Um, that's because I'm using what I have and I'm wasting less. So that's going really, really well. I did receive um, a tax refund um, as I'm catching up on some back taxes, but I don't count that into anything because I'm gonna need it to pay for a couple of tax bills that are I'm behind on. So it'll come out even and maybe a little bit in our favor, which means I'll be able to pay for some medical bills 
as they're coming up. So the, the plan for 2022, I'm not going to do a whole year of no spend, but it's definitely going to be spend what I budget. So probably the first week of January, um, I may do a video on setting up the budget for January, what that's going to look like. Um, a lot of that I won't know until the end of January if there's been any increase or decrease in my pay. There wouldn't be a decrease, but there may be a higher deductible coming off for something, so you just don't know. And Nick will be getting a bit of a raise in his pension, but he won't see that till the 3rd of February. So I think January's budget, I'm just going to go with what I have, what I've seen in the past, and we'll work from that. I was working on um, the sourdough buns that I shared with you. They turned out really badly. I mean, the taste was great, but they were hard as a rock. So <laughs> I won't even put them out for the squirrels to bury because, oh, that's just not nice. They can be composted, though. Um, I made sourdough bread yesterday, split it into two loaves. One was baked in a loaf pan with no covering. And the other baked in my quasi uh, Dutch oven. And it turned out really hard on the bottom. I don't know why, because I've tried all the tricks and what have you. So I'm going to have to do a bit more research as to why that turned out so heavy. The one in the loaf pan turned out really dark. Um, it was a bit smaller, and I think it baked quicker. So... But the crumb inside was really nice and the flavor's good. So as long as the flavor's good, I'm still fine. And I still have a lot of flour left, so I'm not concerned. I'm still in the testing and experiential phase of making sourdough bread. My sourdough starter, on the other hand, is doing really well. And it's growing and growing and growing. And uh, I've shared some and will be sharing more with a, a friend from church so speaking of which I, I will be recording later um, a message for this weekend but there's concerns about the the new variant the omicron and although they haven't changed the regulations for uh, worship services i'm going to meet tomorrow with the session to talk about some different ideas and what's going to happen because it's spreading really fast. And in fact, even some of my family plans for Christmas have changed already. So trying to look at the positives in all of this, um, trying to stay in the Christmas spirit as much as possible and trying to uh, do the things that I love to keep myself, whoops, to keep myself balanced. And the spinning and the knitting are definitely high on that list, as well as journaling, writing, doing my, my daily tasks, my start, my day routine, which continues. And I'm, I'm gonna have a video that's just focusing on that. But here I am, day 20. I can hardly believe it. So enough of chit-chat for today. It's Saturday, and I hope that your day sparkles in one way or another. Find gratitude in something. There's always something to give thanks for. Find joy in the, the little things, and the big things will come. But until the next time, God bless. See you then.